What's going on guys, Chris Okada here, Okada and Company, and today I wanted to try something a little bit different. Uh, I really wanted to jump into the state of the New York City commercial and residential real estate markets. Uh, I think it's really important from time to time for you uh, listeners out there just to really understand what's going on here in New York City as far as the micro economics of the real estate market in general. Uh, and the first and most important thing uh, and the thing that and the news that everyone here in New York is, is talking about is the announcement of Eastern Consolidated's closing. Um, now, Eastern Consolidated has been in business. They're, first of all, all the guys there, the founders, Peter, uh, they're all really, they're, they're legends in the industry. Uh, and if you've been in the game, uh, whether it's retail or whether it's investment sales, and of course, mo most recently, their debt, uh, their debt guys, uh, who are, I consider all them friends, uh, they announced that they are closing down and they really have, uh, they have a hundred people, uh, I believe they have a hundred agents and they have something like 40 staff members. Um, and so they announced this last week, uh, and so it's been about a week and of course everyone's been talking about it. Uh, my initial gut reaction is, um, I think it's sad. I think it's really sad. I think that, uh, these guys, they're, they're a, a household name. They're a brand name. Uh, they are a great medium sized company. Um, they have a, they've done some blockbuster deals. They have some of the most talented brokers, um, and they, it is a husband and wife ownership. Uh, of course there are other principals and partners involved, but really it was founded, uh, by a husband and wife who are entrepreneurial, uh, in spirit and brokers themselves. And so I think it sucks. I think it really sucks. Um, you know, a lot of competitors in the marketplace says who cares better for us better market position no it's n that's never the case that's not how we roll and i actually think that that is for anyone they're celebrating uh their decision to close their doors whether there's got to be first of all there's more than just oh um we you know i think that this is something being something there's something else going on here and we, whether we find out or not, um, you know, I just feel that there's more than meets the eye. However, the Eastern Consol Consolidated closing comes not too long after town and uh, town residential and town commercial and the, you know, uh, and Andrew announced that he was closing town. And we all thought the town, you know, we saw this years coming, litigation, partnership dispute, uh, all kinds of crazy things. Um, we saw, I thought that that was somewhat of an isolated incident. However, this week also, I am, uh, I was informed really by a couple of agents that reached out to us that are trying to uh, look for a new home. Um, that there is a real, a commercial real estate company that is over 53 years old and they too are closing doors. Another household name. I'm not at liberty to say who it is. You know, they have an office on Madison Avenue. They've been in business since 1965. If you guys want to really dig into it, there's another commercial real estate company that have done some of the biggest deals here in Manhattan, some of the most blockbuster retail and investment sales and office deals here in Midtown Manhattan. Um, and again, 1965, they've seen it all. So why 2018? Why 2018? Let's see what else is going on. We have Murray Hill Properties that sold. We have RKF that sold. Um... We have, of course, uh, the guys, my homies at Besson. Um, they, you know, had a little bit of uh, internal litigation and 
uh, internal stuff going on as reported in the real deal. Uh, by the way, I heard that that was settled. Uh, I hope it was settled. Shout outs to Amit, shout outs to Besson and all their brokers. Um, I heard it was settled. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, and there are three, no less than three investment sales companies up for sale right now. And investments, you know, they sell buildings off market, on market. Uh, I was approached by two uh, to buy equity stakes to help them revamp. Big shout outs to advisors. Um, they CBC Caldwell Banker Commercial was obviously sold uh, and then rebranded again. Um, and then what else is that? So we, there's so much going on, even in the residential realm last year, Douglas Elliman of the biggest real estate, uh, residential real estate, they netted a million dollars. They netted a million dollars. I mean, you know, obviously we in the New York city commercial and residential real estate world are clearly clearly seeing a very very difficult time however the strange thing is that this is i feel a segment of the overall business and stock market and just the overall within the nation within the united states i feel that real estate for whatever reason in new york is having it's a, a down a, a downward trend right now. Um, the stock market's at, at an all time high. Um, nationwide housing prices are up and demand is way up. Uh, but in Manhattan and here in New York City, there's a glut of high end residential condos for sale. They're saying it's going to take four years to absorb it. Uh, they're saying luxury rentals. Oh, no, for sure. Not saying luxury rentals right now. If you want to, if you're willing to take a two year lease, you can get two months for free and there's no broker fee. If you're a renter, um, retail of, of course is having its thing nationwide. Uh, the retail apocalypse, if you will, I believe that th that's sort of bottomed out already though. Um, and I, and I feel that office space is pretty, is doing pretty well. We are having a huge amount of square footage come online, uh, with the Hudson Yards area and with the World Trade Center area. Um, and, but in general, I do feel that office is doing well, New York city wide. Um, and so let's talk about the opportunity. So, Resi is not doing well. Retail is not doing well. Um, the brokerage, you know, the service industry, the service guys, the brokerage firms aren't doing too well. But the debt guys, the debt, the mortgage brokers, are crushing it. Let me say this. A good amount of the debt guys are crushing it. Big shout outs to Meridian Capital. Um, a pretty much a mortgage brokerage firm that definitely did have, uh, now has uh, an investment sales division. But certainly they're, they're just crushing life right now. A, lo a lot of my friends, whether they're in small shops or in their big shops, they're doing really, really well in the refinances, in the ground up, in the mezzanine and, and construction space, in the non-traditional finance space. Um, and then my, my, uh, my friends in the fund space, the funds, they are raising a lot, a lot, a lot of capital. So long story short, New York City is in a very transitional state today in 2018. I'm not sure why. You know, we said we saw it coming. You know, we we um you know, I we all expected 2015, 2016 to really be I thought that was going to be the bottom. That was actually the peak. Um so I feel that right now 
we are experiencing the bottom of the market. But it doesn't feel that way because the general state of the economy is doing really, really well. So I'm not sure if just us real estate guys are feeling it or whatever it may be. Um, And within the midst, I'm going to leave, you know, I'm going to leave this vlog with this final thought. And that is anytime there's chaos, anytime there's a lot of movement, anytime there's a lot of shifting, anytime there's a lot of closing doors, anytime that there's a lot of lawsuits, anytime that, you know, there's always lawsuits, but anytime that there's chaos, shifting of a market, confusion and weakness, There's opportunity. There's opportunity. But it's up to us to find that opportunity. Within the rubble, where is the opportunity? Is it in the office realm? Is it in the retail realm? Is it in condominium realm? Ladies and gentlemen, look in the chaos to find the fortune I read this great book I will put a link on it down here so that's pretty much it good luck to all my homies out there for us at Okada and company you know uh, we keep our head low we're a volume business house we make sure that each agent is eating they have to eat and I push everyone here we're not a very big company by any means we're technically boutique But we're a family office, and I like it that way. We take the opportunities when they come to us. And I am certainly looking for that today in 2018 in New York City commercial real estate. That's pretty much it, guys. Please subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. How do you feel about the real estate market right now? I know a lot of you guys out there nationwide are crushing it. Tell me what you're seeing. I know some of the tenant rep on the retail side guys are crushing it what are you seeing and i know that maybe the investment salespeople are having their dry period right now or they're in a slump but that's market wide what can you do and what's the trend let me know leave it in the comments right here guys one love chris okada please follow me on instagram please follow me on youtube please subscribe and let me know your thoughts